Seven Wonders of the Ancient World Great Pyramid of Giza Hanging Gardens of Babylon Temple of Artemis Statue of Zeus at Olympia Mausoleum at Halicarnassus Colossus of Rhodes The Lighthouse of Alexandria Great Pyramid of Giza Located in Giza, near the city of Greater Cairo, Egypt The Great Pyramid of Giza is one of the most fascinating and puzzling structures in existence The interior of the Great Pyramid, is just as fascinating as its exterior The Great Pyramid of Giza is the largest of the three pyramids, in the Giza Pyramid Complex it was supposedly built in about 2560 BC by the Pharaoh Khufu. Egyptologists believe, the pyramid was built as a tomb for the Pharaoh Khufu. It was built over a 20-year period. The pyramid is 481 feet high and composed of 2.3 million blocks of stone, each weighing average of 2.5 tons. 100,000 people worked on the great structure over the course of 20 years. The Great Pyramid of Giza stood as the tallest man-made structure in the world for almost 3,800 years. It is the oldest and the only remaining wonder of the ancient world. Hanging Gardens of Babylon Located in the ancient city of Babylon, modern Iraq. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon was described as an outstanding work of architecture. There is no documentation in Babylonian sources, that the gardens ever existed, also no solid archaeological evidence has been found in Babylon that they existed. Several ancient Greek and Roman historians wrote down, what they believed the gardens looked like before they were supposedly destroyed. It was said to have featured a garden, with full of beautiful flowers and plants cascading over columns and terraces, as high as 75 feet and, other greenery wind around stone monoliths. Also elaborated with magnificent water features. The most popular theory is that these luxurious gardens were created by the Babylonian king, Nebuchadnezzar II, in the 6th century BC, as a gift to his wife Amidus, to give her a beautiful memory of her home. There is another theory, that these hanging gardens never existed in Babylon, but these were built by a Syrian king in the city of Nineveh. Hanging gardens of Babylon, are the only wonder whose existence is, disputed amongst historians. Archaeologists believe that the gardens were destroyed by an earthquake, Temple of Artemis Located in the city of Ephesus, modern-day Turkey The Temple of Artemis was regarded as the ancient world's largest temple It was an ancient Greek temple, built to worship the goddess of the hunt, Artemis The temple was destroyed and rebuilt many times It was completely rebuilt twice, once after a devastating flood and 300 years later, after an act of arson The first temple was probably built around 800 BC and it was destroyed by a devastating flood. Its reconstruction started around 550 BC and took 10 years to complete. This new temple was four times larger than the previous temple. This temple was destroyed by a fire, deliberately started by a man, who wanted his name to be famous forever. He set fire to the wooden roof of the building, and he managed to burn the structure to the ground. Once again the temple was rebuilt in the same location, in more grandiose form. The new temple was entirely built of marble, and full of sculptured columns. It also housed many fine artworks. The Great Temple is thought to be the first building, completely constructed with marble. Each time the temple was rebuilt, it was on the same site and became larger, and even more beautiful and impressive. It was lasted for about 600 years, and destroyed during a raid by the Goths, and never rebuilt. Today the site of the temple, is marked by a single column built of detached pieces, discovered from the wreckage. Some of the columns that were built in Hagia Sophia, a church in Istanbul, Turkey, are originally from the Temple of Artemis. Archaic remains of this magnificent temple, can be seen in the British Museum in London, England. Statue of Zeus at Olympia Located in the city of Olympia in Greece, Zeus was considered the king of the Greek gods, and this magnificent statue was created to honor him. This gigantic statue was placed, in the temple at Olympia in western Greece, a shrine to Zeus, where Olympic Games took place. In ancient times, the Olympic Games were held every four years, in honor of the king of their gods, Zeus. People traveled from distant lands to attend the Olympic Games and also, many Greeks arrived to the city to attend to religious rituals. The statue was crafted by Phidias, a remarkable Greek sculptor, around 435 BC. 
It took him 12 years to complete the statue and, it was about 40 feet high. The statue of Zeus was made of a wooden frame and, covered in ivory and gold panels, ornamented with precious metals. During the period when Greece was dominated by Rome, both the festivities in honor of Zeus became less important. The Roman emperors that took over control of the temple, forbid worship of pagan gods and, the site was inhabited by Christian community. With the emergence of Christianity, the sanctuary of Zeus fell into decay and eventually the temple was abandoned. Already ruined temple was further struck by earthquakes, landslides and floods. It was destroyed by fire in the 5th century CE. One theory states that earlier the statue was moved by a wealthy Greek to a palace in Constantinople and there it survived for 50 years, until it was destroyed by a major fire that swept through Constantinople. Another theory states that the statue was destroyed, along with the temple by fire in 426 CE. There were no copies ever found of the statue. All the details of the statue today are taken from depictions on coins and, ancient Greek descriptions. In the 1950s, an excavation discovered the remains of Phidias' workshop, next to the temple ruins. During the excavation, Archaeologists found the tools that sculptor used to create the statue of Zeus. Today nothing remains at the site of the old temple, except rocks and debris and a few fallen columns on the ground. Mausoleum at Halicarnassus Located in the city of Halicarnassus, modern Bodrum, in Turkey. The mausoleum at Halicarnassus was a tomb, built between 353 and 350 BC. The word mausoleum originates from a name, that of King Mausolus. Mausolus, with his queen Artemisia, ruled over Halicarnassus and the surrounding territory, for 24 years. The tomb was built in his capital city, Halicarnassus. It became a structure so famous that, the word mausoleum is now used to designate, any large and imposing tomb. The planning of his great tomb was begun by, Mausolus himself. Mausolus died relatively young and after his death, Artemisia, who was both his sister and his widow, directed the construction in honor of her husband. It was the custom in Caria in those days, for rulers to marry their own sisters. The best Greek architects and sculptors, were hired for the construction, of the enormous structure. Sitting on a massive stone platform, the building was surrounded by columns and towered over the lands around it. Stone lions guarded the stairway up to the tomb. The finished mausoleum was 45 meters in height and, the structure was made up of three parts. A square base tomb on the bottom. 36 ionic columns in the middle. Standing in between each column was another statue. And then topped by a step pyramid that had 24 steps. At the very top, there was a large statue of Mausolus and Artemisia, in a chariot pulled by four horses. The marble structure was so immense and, decorated with an array of striking sculptures. Although large, the mausoleum of Halicarnassus was known more for its, ornate sculptures and carvings. Most of these were painted in vibrant colors. There were also friezes, that wrapped around the entire building. These were extremely detailed and, included scenes of battle and hunting, as well as scenes from Greek mythology. The mausoleum retained its grandeur, for nearly 1,800 years, until a series of earthquakes destroyed part of the structure. In the early 15th century, the Knights of St. John took over the city and, built a massive castle. Many of the stones from the ruins, were used by the Knights, to fortify their castle at Bodrum. This massive castle still stands in Bodrum and, the marble blocks of the mausoleum can be spotted, within the walls of the structure. Some of the sculptures survived and are today on display, at the British Museum in London. At the site of the mausoleum itself, only the foundation remains of the once magnificent wonder. Colossus at Rhodes Located in the city of Rhodes. Rhodes is the capital of the island of Rhodes, in Greece. The Colossus of Rhodes, was a giant statue of the Greek god Helios, the god of the sun, who used to be the patron god of the city and the island. This massive statue stood at the entrance to a busy harbor of Rhodes, a city that was one of the great trading cities of ancient times. After a successful victory against a siege, led by Macedonian leader Demetrius in 305 BC, it was decided that a grand statue of their patron god Helios, should be built in Rhodes to honor this great feat. In 292 BC, the construction of Colossus began, on top of a 15-meter marble pedestal, and took 12 years to build. It was made of bronze plates over an iron framework and, inside were several stone columns, that helped keep the statue upright. Much of the bronze used to cast the statue was reforged, 
from the various weapons, Demetrius's army left behind. This gigantic 30-meter-high statue stunned the sailors, as they approached the port of Rhodes. The pose of the Colossus is debated, with the current belief that, it couldn't have actually straddled the opening of the harbor, as depicted in many drawings, but it is much more likely stood to one side. Unfortunately, this magnificent statue stood only for 56 years. During a severe earthquake, the Colossus cracked at the knees and, fell onto the city. Huge pieces of the broken statue lay along the harbor for centuries. These ruins were so massive and worth seeing, that people traveled far and wide, to see the fallen Colossus. In the 7th century AD, the Arabs conquered Rhodes and, the bronze used to make Colossus was melted down and sold. So today there is no evidence remained in Rhodes, of this magnificent work of art. Lighthouse of Alexandria Also known as the Pharos of Alexandria Located on the island of Pharos, in Alexandria, Egypt. The city of Alexandria in Egypt, was founded by Alexander the Great, in 331 BCE. The city needed both a symbol and a mechanism, to guide the trade ships into its busy harbor. This great lighthouse was the idea of Ptolemy I, who took over command of Egypt, after the death of Alexander the Great. Although it was finished during the reign of his son, Ptolemy II. The construction of the lighthouse began, on the small offshore island of Pharos, near the entrance of Alexandria's harbor, in 290 BC. When it was completed some 12 years later, during the reign of Ptolemy II, it was the first lighthouse in the world and, the tallest building at the time, with the exception of the Great Pyramid. Also it became the model for future lighthouses. It is said to have been more than 350 feet high, made with blocks, of white granite and marble. The lighthouse was built in three stages with decreasing size, each built on top of one other. The lowest was square, the next octagonal and, the top cylindrical. Its light was emitted continually, from the top of the tower by a furnace at night, helping ships to safely enter the port. While a mirror was used by day to reflect the sunlight, there was also a statue of Zeus, at the top of the lighthouse. Having kept mariners safe for over 1,500 years, the lighthouse of Alexandria was severely damaged, during several earthquakes and finally toppled by a major earthquake. Eventually it was abandoned and left to ruin. Ruins remained on the site for some time until 1480, when the last of its remnant stones were used, to build a fort on the island, that still stands today. In 1994, French archaeologists discovered, some remains of the Great Lighthouse of Alexandria, in the bottom of the harbor and, it is possible today to visit them while diving.